What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I definitely appreciate you clicking on this video and of course, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So it is really good to be home back in South Dakota, guys. Florida was amazing, meeting with the Hot Wheels instigator was super fun as well as finally getting to meet Bobby over at KPS Hobby. So huge shout out to them. Stay tuned for that episode, guys, because there was a lot of hunting and we did pick up some goodies, which are in this box. But before we get to that, guys, it is that time yet again. We have another mail call. So we have one right here from Reese from Amazing Cars 13. He's been a huge supporter of the channel for a long time and really cool guy. He's sent some packages in the past before. And then we have one right here from Steve. Now, last time he sent a package, he actually sent these two 100% Mustangs and I just absolutely love them. They're beautiful 1970s. So you got this really nice teal or turquoise 70 Ford Mustang. And then you have the yellow one with the boss stripes running down the side. So he sent those two last time and I don't know what else is in here, but the package from Reese, he said was an act of kindness. So Reese, thank you so much for sending whatever's in here. And of course, guys, go ahead and check out his channel over at Amazing Cars 13. He does a lot of live streams and he does review a lot of his castings he gets. So Steve, as well, thank you. But let's go ahead and jump into the one from Reese and see what's inside. All right, let's see what Reese threw in here. Cause like I said, I have no idea. Ooh, here we go. We got some loose castings and some moving parts. Oh dude, that is sick. Look at that guys, the 94 Mitsubishi Evolution 4. Dude, that is wicked, man. The Evo 4s are definitely one of my favorite generations. Um, there's a couple Mirages around here I've seen with the right hand drive Evolution kit. And I've always thought these were super cool, man. These are definitely an underrated and forgotten generation of the Evo. But there we go, man, the 94, dude, that is sweet. Look at that, super clean silver metallic. And of course you got the split 10 spokes that Matchbox has. And of course their detail is just always spot on. You got the detailed tail lights right there with the trunk emblems. And then of course, coming around the front, beautiful headlight tampos, as well as the fog lights on that front bumper. But dude, that is awesome, man. Look at that. Nice. Reese, thank you so much for that. I haven't even seen that on pegs. Ooh, and here we go. We got the GMC Hummer EV brand new. Oh, dude, that is a super clean color too. Almost like that slate gray. But look at that setup, man. You got the blacked out glass, really, really nice looking. Of course, you have the opening front hood, which probably showcases the batteries or maybe just the trunk space. I don't really know how these are set up, but I definitely do think these are really cool. I'm glad they're bringing these back. Really nice moving parts right here. Sweet, dude. Oh, and here we go. We got some loose ones and another Joey Logano. My dude, first one right here is the blue S550. Gosh, man, they really did this casting so nice from Matchbox. I think this one is way better than Hot Wheels could do for the casting. I mean, the tail lights are spot on. The blue metallic is just beautiful. And of course the wheels alone. I mean, they did this one really nice. So I do have this one on card still. So we got the orange, the convertibles, all the convertibles here. Um, the green coupe is probably one of my favorites. And then I do have the smoked charcoal one. I believe it's in, nope, it's not over there. Sitting over here, that thing is super clean. So I think that was from the Top Gun 5 pack, but here we go. So Reese, let me know if you wanna race within one of the loose cars you sent. But man, that is such a beautiful one. Still one of my favorite Mustangs from Matchbox. And then followed up, we have a huge, huge Ram. Look at that. That is tough looking. So this looks like another moving parts. Maybe the hood opens. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice, look at that, man. You got the supercharger with Rebel crammed underneath that. Dude, that is sweet. Man, that looks good. 
followed up by the 67 coupe here we go the beautiful purple metallic of course this one has the white stripes tied into the silver stripes on the door so i do have this one on long card international loose but it's still always good to have more mustangs man that is awesome next one check this out we have the white mach one i want to say i have one of these but i'm not a hundred percent sure and it wouldn't be here maybe i have it over here there it is okay yep there it is right there i knew i had it but here we go we have it loose and can probably go for a resto i don't know we could probably save it keep the blue tinted glass just remove the tampos and refresh the white but still either way man beautiful mach one and then right here man check this out the third joey logano's mach 22 i know it's a mach one but he does have mach 22 on the fender but the 71 mach one joey logano and this makes number three for the collection nice so the other one i got my second one is going to be an opener but i did place it on my pegs it's sitting right there in case you guys were wondering i do have a third one it's not for trade since this was a gift from reese so this one will stay in the collection it might be opened up as well but beautiful dude check that out reese my man over at amazing cars 13 sent some awesome castings i'm super stoked for the evil four though that thing is beautiful but of course you got the ev hummer the 67 coupe the s550 the rebel ram the mach one and of course followed up with the best mach one of course the 71 joey logano hands down awesome man all right so that was from reese we're gonna move on to the one from steve so let's see what's inside all right, we made some room, moved the one from Reese over there. So let's see what's inside of this box. All right, let's see, what is this? Oh, nice. Check this out, guys. The 2011 Collector Edition of the Drag Bus. Oh, dude, that is sweet. Check it out, man. The Volkswagen T1 Drag Bus, and of course it tells you the parts, the interior material, wheel style, wheel deco in tampo inks then followed up by another 2011 collector edition this one's the blown delivery there we go this one's actually in yellow i do have this particular card um, but with the blue version of it in my binder so there we go sweet dude oh nice 2012 volkswagen drag beetle Dude, that's a beauty. I love the yellow walls on those wheels. Check that out, man. Dude, that high mounted wing just looks so wicked. Ooh, here we go. 66 Dodge A100. These things always come at the perfect stance, man. Super, super low to the ground. But I'm really digging that green. Nice. Love these, man, because that's going to go perfectly in my binder, wherever my binder's at. But yeah, so my first few pages in my binder, I do have a couple cards with these collector edition pictures. Um, so this is a great edition right there. Uh oh, here we go. Number one, start your engines. Let's see, are these his racers or are these just some super clean race cars right here? Check this out, guys. The Casey Kane number nine Dodge. Oh, yeah that is beautiful god that thing is super cherry too so i think this is a different variation as always i'm always going to reference it for you guys that way you guys can know in case there's other nascar collectors or just a variation collector just always pay attention to these kind of things um but no never mind that's a real rider version of the larger one so this is a new addition unless i have it elsewhere which i highly doubt wait hold on hold on i actually do have another nascar case so i need to reference it real quick okay no number nines here and no number nines there so yes this is actually the first one in the collection of this release very nice dude and then next up is the stacy compton Looks like a 92. I don't know. Is this still considered sealed or is this taped? I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments what the 92 Stacy Compton is. 
because uh yeah i'm still learning this maybe this isn't a blister and if it is i definitely like the way you package that dude that is so cool man uh oh we got some more <laughs> oh nice all right let's see next up the 45 Ooh, this one's got the gold sprint livery on there check that out dude that is awesome yep don't have one of these in the collection so this is another new addition and i'm really digging that just the black and gold keeping it simple so very nice another dodge Ooh, and here we go the number 19 team car which we have seen on the channel before here we go now does this one match i think this one matches the large scale i have um i believe i actually have the 19 as well but look at that man oh yeah that is beautiful i want to find i want to see where is my other one at i know i just got one of these see guys this is the issue that uh a lot of people don't put in consideration when you get so many die casts in your collection is you start oh there it is right there hidden in plain sight so it looks like a second version maybe it's a little different so let's see same door deco same front so yeah it looks like they're exact same side by side sponsors are the same everything about it's the same so yes this is a second one but it is in much better condition than this one because you can see the front bumper is kind of scuffed up so this one's more cherry so definitely an awesome one right there so two number 19s all right next up the number 43 maybe this was supposed to go on there We've got the number 43 cheerios now i want to say i have this one but of course i always always say i might have it and then i don't or i say the opposite so 43 cheerios nope the only 43 cheerios i have is that one i might as well just keep this out might as well just keep this out no 43 here 44s so nope this one's also a new one here we go nice dude these are in really good condition wow that is that is cherry definitely appreciate these man next up out of the same bag we have an upside down red one oh nice number 45 it's another sprint car but i don't know who drives this so i'll leave that up to you guys to comment down below who drives the number 45 dodge intrepid because that that just looks good man race car liveries are just super super sweet man so I love that we got the gold as well as the colored version of it. You let me know what the difference between the two or what the significance of the 45 Sprint car is. Um, so yeah, comment down below, guys. Definitely appreciate when you guys drop all the facts. Different kind of racing. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, I see it. No freaking way. Dude, these are freaking legendary. Oh my gosh, guys look at this the fast and the furious 95 eclipse series one the freaking og eclipse man brian's freaking eclipse oh my gosh dude that is so freaking awesome dude thank you so much so i do have a similar release um different card but i think it's the same racing champions and it is right there. It's got Toretto's RX-7 with Mia, which doesn't look anything like it, but yep, looks like another racing champs. So now we have Dom and Brian's freaking car. Dude, oh, that is awesome. And the card condition is holy crap immaculate. Wow. See, this is stuff that I have to continue taking care of because it was just in such good shape. Then we have the Honda Civic Street Racer. Look at that, man. Now, I don't know when this car even appeared in the first movie because of the blue and silver tampos. You have the double-decked wing right there, the aluminum version of it. So, yeah, I don't know who drove this one. You guys got to let me know because, uh, yeah, I do not recall this car. But, man, the 95 Civic oh man now that is totally cool man all right 
Number three. Okay, yeah, so number two. All right, so number three is relax. Okay, we gotta calm down. Let's just take a little break real quick. Yeah, because dude, following up with these, what release is this? This has to be like 98, no, 2002. So still 21 years old, man. Time to relax. <gasps> okay, let's get it. Oh man, these are all uh, packaged, maybe some hard blisters. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. How are you gonna say relax? when these are the freaking coolest man you guys saw i just got one of these oh my gosh kurt bush's freaking luxury tour bus dude that is too freaking cool man gosh look at that that is awesome wow that is freaking beautiful man look at that Jeez! not only did my man send some freaking NASCAR heat, Fast and the Furious stuff, but he threw it back with some luxury rides. Oh my gosh, dude. You know, the thing I love about these is just the sheer size of it, the wheels. I love the Eagle Goodyears on any casting. I think it just looks phenomenal. I don't know. Something about some basic wheels with some white lettering really makes the car stand out. Like this coupe right here looks beautiful with the white letters then you got this mustang right here with the bfgs like it just really makes the car look even cooler oh man how can i relax with stuff like this oh my gosh dude please do not tell me you sent more of them oh my gosh oh my gosh dude ricky freaking rudd Dude, that is wicked, man. Love that it's just all red with the motorcraft on there. And of course, you got the Hap Arnold Air Force wings represented on the back. Dude, freaking awesome, man. Steve, man, come on. You did not have to load us up with this much heat, man. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, there's another one, but it is Richard Petty. Wow. Gosh, that is beautiful. God, the, you know, the STP livery, dude, I love that blue and red. It's just an iconic setup. Freaking awesome. Holy crap. You should have written next to the word relax, put just kidding, you're about to hyperventilate again with all this stuff. Wow. Oh my gosh, this feels like the same thing. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, dude. This dude sent the whole freaking NASCAR team out here. Check this out, man. Ryan Newman's number 12 tour bus. Wow, man. Dude, you gotta let me know what I owe you for this, man, because this is just too much heat for us today. Look at that. Four freaking buses so far, because I know there's another one right here, and it's the number 17 is this, Matt Kenseth? Yes, it is. Matt Kenseth's DeWalt freaking bus. Man, that is just too freaking cool, man. Look at that. Dude, come on. All right, looks like the last two and oh my gosh, two more. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this one is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. Mark Martin's Pfizer bus, dude. Oh, I gotta take a picture and tag him in this one because he travels through South Dakota every year and I missed him at a local car show and oh my gosh, I wish I would have gone, but man, oh, beautiful addition. Let's go ahead and uh, take a picture real quick. Thank you so much for throwing Mark Martin's in there. And then I saw another freaking Valvoline. This one's the Johnny Benson number 10. Check that out, dude. Oh my gosh, which one is my favorite? Cause they're all just so freaking cool and in their own way. I mean, of course the Mark Martin one, but I love the Valvoline livery. And of course the STP, man, that is just, actually all of them. You can't even choose 
which one a favorite is. It's just because that's my favorite driver. But all of these, man, look at that. All right, let's just make sure we didn't miss anything. That looks like all the stuff in there. Thank God, because I don't know if I can handle any more heat. So let's go ahead and clean this up real quick so we can do a quick recap and finish out this awesome freaking mail call. All right, guys, check this out. Such awesomeness out of two packages. Steve, thank you so much for these, dude. These are so freaking cool. Now I have eight tour buses in my NASCAR collection, and it's with the help of you guys. These are just too freaking cool. So if anyone loves just the way these look, give this video a thumbs up. It greatly helps out the channel, but it lets me know that but it also tells me who else who else is a fan just like me. But this right here, guys, we got freaking Brian's Eclipse, the original casting from Racing Champs, the Honda Civic, some NASCAR heat, man. We got the Team 19, the 45s, Casey Kane, the 92. You guys got to let me know who drives that or what it represents. Then we got the number 43 Cheerios and these awesome collector cards right here. And then from Reese, we got four loose castings, which are super cool. And let me know if you want to race under one of these or maybe another casting because we got to get Reese on the track because we've had some drivers come on, but I haven't seen my man Reese yet. So Reese, comment down below. Let me know what you want to drive on the track and we'll get you in the next round of races which will be later on this week. And of course, he sent the Evo 4, the EV Hummer, and the Joey Logano. Freaking awesome, dude. Thank you so much. So, Steve and Reese, I cannot thank you guys enough. So that is all we have for this episode, guys. This table is getting full again. I filled up another tote of stuff. There's another box hidden back here, which I still need to organize. And then I still have all these to organize, and those, and these and these, and there's some over here. And of course the stuff I just bought, and then all these drawers are full, guys. Check this out. First drawer, completely full. There's the other Joey Logano. Completely full, completely full, and completely full. There's just a little room for some, maybe another five pack. But still, guys, I have a lot of organizing to do still. That's still full of stuff I need to organize. It gets overwhelming. I'm actually overwhelmed. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on today's episode. And stay tuned for what we picked up in Florida. And until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.